What's going on guys, one more chance we're going to bring up to the Washington Station, the best station for Washington, Football Nation. Now we are going into week five of the NFL season. Uh, we are facing against the Rams at home, I believe. At least at home. It's the Rams. And it's going to be an interesting game. It's going to be an interesting game, that is for sure. And probably... And most of you, if you're watching this, you've heard at least something about how crazy this week's going to be. It's going to be freaking crazy, so let's just talk about how crazy it's going to be. So, first things first, Dwayne Allen. Dwayne. Wow. Dwayne Haskins is not starting this week. Kyle Allen will be starting, and Alex Smith will be the backup. Don't know if Dwayne's going to be active or inactive. I'd imagine inactive, but you don't know. Um, and Gibson's going to get season more carries in this game. Um, we're going to be without Steven Sims. He's official on IR. So it's going to, we're going to see a lot of Dontre Lemon, Isaiah Wright, Terry McCorn. And I think we'll see some more Gandy Golden this week. I said that almost every week, but I think we'll see him a little bit more this week because of how banged up our receiving core is. Um, defense is going to hopefully have Chase Young back, which will be huge. If we can get him back in there, that'll be absolutely amazing. Um, it's going to be a tough game. Sean McVay coming back to FedEx Field for the first time to face us. It's going to be it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a homecoming for him. And um, it's kind of weird, but I see us winning this game. I see us winning. Um, we have a chance to win. I don't know if I see us winning. We have a good chance to win. The Rams have played like they played last year when they started off really good. They kind of taper off at the first couple weeks. And it's the way it's looking, so I believe we have a shot to take to go at them. Ron Rivera's been very big on the fact that we have chance we have chances to make it far in the division. I think we need to capitalize on those and go forward. Obviously I am worried. Um our O line is struggling, especially um we're gonna be without Brandon Sheriff for at least this week. Maybe next week, I don't know. And I don't know, I think I is three weeks on the other I rules. Confuse me. We set up this year for COVID. Um, okay, but we're gonna be, we're gonna have our hands full with the likes of Michael Brockers. I think is Dante Fowler still there? Maybe. Um, and of course, this guy you may have heard of, maybe two-time Defensive Player of the Year. 99 overall, man, the beast, Aaron Donald. I am terrified. So I feel like we're going to try to run the ball to the outside a lot in this game. I feel like there's not going to be a whole lot of stuff in the inside. If we do, it's going to be really run up the gut and try to slam it down their throat. Um, I see us just kind of running to the outside a bit more and not focusing so much on running to anywhere where Aaron Donald is. I'm sure there's some play call if Aaron Donald's in his is that a certain um, area, it's like, okay, audible, go the other way. Because even though there's a totally good group of guys on the other side, nobody's there in Donald. I mean, that's, it's as simple as that. And um, also we'll be facing uh, Jalen Ramsey, the little prick. Yeah, um, we'll be seeing him. I'm sure he's going to be lined up against McClure and all day. So, you know, I could lock down McClure a little bit. So. Back to see if Don Trello and to go. See him, Gandy Golden, Isaiah Wright, even Gibson out there because we know that um, Turner will, wants to run Gibson at receiver and running back. So it'll be interesting to see what direction he goes with that. But um, it's a very it's a very winnable game. It's just it's very much on the offense. I think defense will be okay. Um, facing off a good guy, Robert Woods, and Cooper Cup, and um, Ty Higby. Um, I think we can. I think we can handle them. Um, it's just whoever's going to be going against Andrew Whitworth, so I'd imagine if Chase Young's going, they're not going to put him against him. I'm going to put Chase Young probably against the weaker side, so that way he can be able to play a little bit easier. You know, but I, see the, I see this game going pretty good. You know, Jerry Goff is hit or miss, so I have a good week or a bad week. Hopefully we can get him rattled to start off the game. Chase Young, Kerrigan, Sweat, Payne, or um, Allen, get in there, Bostic even. In there and just wreck some havoc. That'd be awesome. Um, just get them rattled. I feel like we can just get them rattled. That'll set the tone for the rest of the game. Uh, we will have fans in the stadium this week. Um, not actually like fan fans, but 
close friends and family will be allowed to attend the game this week, which is amazing. And um, just to get some people in the stands, even if it's a few, um, I think it's, it was, it'll be a great help just to have people in the stands cheering on the team. I think that'll make a big difference. Especially for one time, all the fans of the stand will be pro Washington. Who would have known? But um, I think that's going to be really cool. I'm excited to see Sean McVay again just walk back into FedEx Field. Um, not many players on the team now were there when he was. Um, you got Morgan Moses. You know he's not playing now. Brandon Sheriff. And Nick Sumberg. And our, a whole special teams other than Hank Kerrigan. Maybe Ryan Anderson. Maybe John Allen. I don't know. It's, a, it's been a long time. Since. So yeah, our roster is going to do a lot of changes since McVay went to coach the Rams. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a close game. It's gonna be really in the trenches. You know, who's the line does the best? Um, what D line breaks the more havoc? Um, defensive backs have to play heads up to sweep. No stupid tackles. No stupid penalties. Just need to play smart. Um, Lanny Collins needs to make those tackles. He's missing too many tackles. And he needs to just. You better, you know, don't leave your feet, you know, stick through and wrap up and take them to the ground. So basic ABCs of football. And I feel like that's a problem. I'm talking this week, I've talked the past couple weeks about the ABCs of football, and now we're not doing them, and that's why we're one and three. We need to start understanding the ABCs of football and going forward and using them correctly. So, yes, yeah, so we need to win this week because we have the Giants next week, and we can get, and hopefully we can win both of these games. We're going to the bye week three and a half. I mean, yeah, not 3 0, but 500, 3 and 3, which would be amazing and be a great help because these, these, especially these divisional games and conference games, will be super big when it comes to who makes it at the end of this season because I think it's going to be a close run between all the teams. But sassy is winning, it's going to be a problem. I'm worried about Aaron, Ro Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey if they're going to torture us a little bit. I'm not too worried about their offense. Their offense can light up, but other times it won't. So I'm not too worried about that. So let's see what happens Sunday. I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button down below so you know if I every single time over the brand new episode of Watch the Station. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts, and I'll see y'all later. Stay safe. I'm Morris, and I'm out. Peace.